Senator Cornyn. Dr. Scott, if I understood you correctly, you said that in your medical opinion that um, the way Amanda's doctor handled her pregnancy was a deviation of the standard of care in similar cases. Is that, did I understand you correctly? ACOG tells us on when it's uh, appropriate to offer delivery. Well, back uh, many years ago, I used to uh, handle medical malpractice cases. And usually when a medical expert says that uh, what a doctor did violated the standard of care, that gave rise to a cause of action for uh, medical malpractice. Um, I was just curious about that. So this is an emotional and divisive issue. There's no doubt about it. That's a statement of the obvious. I appreciate, Dr. Scott, your pointing to the difference between what is moral, which is an individual decision people make about the appropriate conduct, and then what is possible uh, when it comes to building consensus, either among the American people or the people in a given state or uh, in the legislative branch. But I can pretty much guarantee that post Roe versus Wade, um, now that that issue is back in the hands of the state legislatures, there is, it's highly unlikely there will be a federal uh, abortion standard. It requires 60 votes in the United States Senate. Um, and uh, as you can see, this is a very uh, divisive issue. Um, but I want to ask you, again, Dr. Scott, I'm just going through the Women's Health Protection Act. This is, what, this is what's been offered by Senator Baldwin and her um, Democratic colleagues as an alternative to states determining uh, what the abortion laws should be. Um, first of all, can you, uh, can you tell us who Kermit Gosnell was? Um, yes, Kermit Gosnell was a um, obstetrician in inner city Philadelphia who for 17 years, um, his clinic was never ex um, inspected by the Pennsylvania State Department of Health. He was allowed to perform very unsupervised late-term abortions on unfortunate poor minority women. Um, and when it was actually, I think, I believe a, uh, a pill mill through which the, the um, state started investigating him, but it was determined that there were women who had died under his care, that his clinic was very um, squalid conditions. Um, there was evidence that babies had been born alive and then um, he committed infanticide and he is currently um, serving time in prison. He's an example of what happens if we allow politics to keep us from supervising abortion providers to make sure they're um, performing adequate care. And unfortunately, under this legislation, we may see more providers like that. Well, there's a cottage industry here in Washington, D.C., naming legislation in ways that are the opposite of how they actually function. Um, I'm thinking of the Inflation Reduction Act, which didn't actually reduce inflation, uh, for example. But uh, this legislation that uh, Senator Durbin and others are proposing is so-called the Women's Health Protection Act. Um, if it were more accurately named, um, it seems to me it might be the Kermit Gosnell Tribute Act, because it would eliminate all restrictions at the state or federal level on access to abortion. The bill text says it supersedes and applies to all federal and state laws and that no law in conflict with this shall be enforced. Um, it allows the access to abortion through all nine months of pregnancy, including late-term abortions. It doesn't speak to infanticide, but we can imagine what would come next. The Hyde Amendment, which you alluded to, which has provided for many years now, since the 70s, uh, that no tax funds, no uh, taxpayer funds should be used, could be used uh, to fund abortion, would be overruled. 
all parental consent and parental notification laws, if your child became adolescent child became pregnant, you would have no right to know of their seeking access to abortion or certainly no right to consent. If someone wanted to get an abortion to, because they had a, a female baby and they wanted a male child, uh, this law would, this proposed law would, would overrule that restriction and allow se sex selection abortion. Um, I could go on and on and on, but I don't believe that the proposal that Senator Durbin and his Democratic colleagues have made represents the consensus in this country. Uh, we all have a right to our own moral judgments, but when it comes to the laws of the land, no one has a right to impose their personal views on everyone else, which is what Roe versus Wade did. The Supreme Court took that out of the discussion uh, among the American people or the halls of Congress or the state legislators and said that you could not pass a law regardless of where the consensus was, effectively allowing uh, abortion on demand through uh, till the time of delivery. So we need to solve this problem but we're not gonna solve it in Congress. This is, gonna, this is now being debated, should be debated, and be resolved in the state legislatures around the country. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Since the Senator from Texas mentioned my name several times, I'd like to make a point for the record. In 2013, Dr. Kermit Gosnell, a physician in Pennsylvania,